Wow. Go Wildcats. <laughs> this may be a little harder than I anticipated, so bear with me if I have to pause and pull a tissue out of my pocket. It is great. It is great to be here. The events of the last three months have been overwhelming. There have been lots of reports about Amber and me, and we've been in the news, you've seen us have the great privilege of meeting the President of the United States, and I've had the honor and, and responsibility of testifying before Congress about the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. And we've been interviewed and written articles and, and tried to reach out and be a support to, to some other Americans who've been infected with Ebola. And I want to say today that it's, it is a great honor and joy to be here at ACU, to be here for homecoming for the first time since, since we left ACU. I am particularly thrilled to, to be alive, to return to Abilene, to my ACU community, to my family. Um, I, I don't know another word besides joy. But I want to say something very important today. I want to tell you, this is not about me. It's not about Amber, our children. I came to ACU in 1999, unsure of what I wanted to major in, what I wanted to do with life. I was excited, had a lot of interests. And at the end of my sophomore year, I decided to take advantage of the opportunity that I had here at ACU to sit at the feet of some great biblical scholars, some remarkable theologians, some compassionate, caring professors to study the Word of God. And it was here that I first began to feel the Lord's calling on my life to serve Him as a missionary. And it's here that those professors and other faculty members and staff members and, and classmates and preachers and teachers helped me learn what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said there are two things in life that are important. The first is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And when we do that, we will do the second most important thing, and that is to love your neighbor as yourself. This is not about me. This is about our great, loving, compassionate God who has called us to love our neighbors. This is about the more than 3,800 people who have died from Ebola virus disease in West Africa. You heard that report from one month ago where Matt Lauer said more than 3,800 people have been stricken with Ebola. That was the number of cases. Now more than that many people have died and there are more than 8,000 cases in West Africa. There's been some criticism that we in the United States have been too focused on ourselves. We've had, what, five or six cases of Ebola here in the United States, including myself. And that's what the majority of the reporting and 
tweets and everything have been about. And those, those individuals, Mr. Mukpo in Nebraska, who's being treated and fighting for his life right now, the patient who's still being treated at Emory University, Mr. Duncan, who passed away in Dallas a couple days ago. If I could say a word to the family of Mr. Duncan right now, I would express to them my deepest sympathy. My heart is broken for his family. And I want to tell you all that Ebola is, is serious, it's real, it is a terrible, terrible disease for those who have it and for those who are close to them. And the families of those individuals I've named know that very well. And I want to speak a word about Ebola in the United States. There's been a lot of panic, a lot of, uh, I hesitate to use the word hysteria around the events in Dallas. I just want to tell everyone that, yes, Ebola is serious. It's a devastating disease. And for those number of people who have been identified as contacts of an Ebola patient, they need to be monitoring themselves. They need to be cooperating with the authorities, with the CDC. And it's very serious for them. But for the rest of us, we don't need to be worried that a plane flying over is gonna somehow contaminate us with Ebola because it flew over Dallas before it got to us. We need to be putting that aside and trying to love our neighbors. And our neighbors are not simply the people that live next to us or our roommate or the person down the hall or the person in your class. Our neighbors are the people in West Africa who are suffering far beyond what we can understand or, or fathom. You've seen the news reports and I assure you the reality on the ground in West Africa is worse than the worst report you've seen. And our attention and our efforts need to be on loving the people there, on praying for them the way that so many of you prayed for me. I'm so thankful for that. But I beg you, pray for the people of West Africa. Pray for God to intervene and bring an end to this terrible outbreak and find practical ways to help. You can help with money. You can help by organizing awareness programs. You can help by dispelling the panic and hysteria about Ebola here. You can help by volunteering. This is not about me. This is about our great, compassionate, merciful God and our neighbors who need our help. I'm so excited to be here this weekend. I look forward to reconnecting with so many people and, and I love my ACU family, the ACU community, and they've had such an impact on my life to help me learn what it means to follow Jesus Christ. My prayer for, for all of you who are students here now is that besides the professions you're learning, the degrees you're earning, the accomplishments you're making right now, that the goal of your lives, the goal of your education, the goal of everything you're doing in this place would be to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you for having us here, my family. Thank you for praying for us, for supporting us, for encouraging us through the most difficult 
events of our lives. Thank you for supporting our families. Let's love our neighbors. I'd like to close with a word of prayer. God, you are good, you are gracious, you are, you are God. Your love is steadfast, your mercy never fails, and it is new every morning. Father, we are gathered in this place today to celebrate, to rejoice in, in homecoming in the the institution of Abilene Christian University and how it has transformed the lives of so many people. Father, I pray that you would bless this weekend, that it would be a time of joy and, and fun and, and reconnection for so many people who are coming back to campus. I pray that you would bless the events of this weekend but Father, I pray that you would put a burden on all of our hearts. To love our neighbors as ourselves and to recognize who is our neighbor. Father, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for the opportunity to praise you in worship and song today. And as we go from this place, I pray that you would that you would be glorified in our lives. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen.